What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another episode of the squad review series to support. You guys have shown me on this series has been absolutely insane. But if you guys want to get involved with this series, make sure to join the Discord. The link will be in the description. We are on a road to 3,000 members. We are currently on 2,824. So it would be really nice to see 3,000 members in this Discord right here. Now once you join the Discord, you are going to see a squad review channel that's where you want to head over to if you want to actually get involved in the series and you are going to have a certain time to actually submit your team so it is going to be 8 p.m saturday to 2 p.m sunday so make sure you submit your team during that little time period and you will hopefully get it actually included into the episode either way we are starting off with we won I don't even know what that is. Either way, hey, all you love the content. I have 50k. Gonna need to save, apparently. He's in-game team. Okay, give me any improvements for the future, please. All right. So this is, might be a quick one because he hasn't got a lot of coins. He hasn't got a great team either. A lot of people use this guy for chemistry, so I don't want to rush into it. I'm going to look at his in-game team to make sure... Yeah, see, he doesn't use him. Yeah, a lot of people do that. A lot of people just use this guy for chemistry. So I don't want to rush into it too much. And obviously, you know, kind of see who he uses instead. So he does use Marquinhos. So you sub him on for five chemistry, which is perfectly fine. Marquinhos, five chem in that center back position is not too bad. The only worry I might have is him being a little bit too slow there. But if he works for you, he works for you, you know. Either way, where would I personally improve this team straight off? Hmm. I would definitely go for rather Ariola or Sane Maximum. I feel like those two are definitely the weak players or the weak links, let's say, in this team. If you like Ariola and you think to yourself, oh, Ariola is performing for me and all of that, then keep him, okay? You don't have to change him, you know? But if you don't actually like him at all, a player you could go for is Lloris because Lloris is going to get, you know, for fun on chemistry and it's also going to give around that weak link. And after that, I would probably go for Sane Maximum because Gold Sane, I remember using him back in the day. Well, I say back in the day. It was like a few months ago, you know, and his shooting ability was the only thing that let him down on that card. Like his dribbling ability, insane. His pace, insane. But his shooting ability, yeah, that was a no-go. Absolutely. He just hit the pose. He missed the whole target consistently. So, yeah, I would go for Larice to start it off and then probably upgrade Sane Maximum to his in form. That's the way to go with this team. But yeah, very nice team either way. It's not like an extremely meta team. You do have obviously the Varane and Furlan Mendy. But you got players like Kies in there. You got players like... Actually, it's quite a meta team. Like, I'm looking at Kulazeski. I'm looking at Yeda. I'm looking at Awa. It's a good team either way. Really, really nice team. But yeah, just save up a few more coins and you can obviously get the better players. Mateo. He's got 200k on PS4. His in-game is a 4-4-2. He's played Juan Felix and El Shirari in a striker position. Mane and Salah out wide. Curtis, I'm guessing Das Jones and Bruno Fernandes in a centre-mid position. Uh, Mendy, left back. He's got Maldini and Varane centre-back and Samela right back. So it's looking like a pretty decent team just by reading that. He's got full-backs. Yeah, okay, he wants to improve full-backs, Mane or maybe Joao. Okay. Let's look at this real quick. Is there anyone? He, yes, okay, so he hasn't got anyone on the bench. He says he plays 4-4-2 in-game. Hmm. Okay. He's looking like a very nice team. Very nice team, to be fair. But I see one player that I really, really don't like. Like, your attack, you know, Joao Felix and El Shirari is very nice. Okay. Mane and Salah is very nice also. Gold Salah is a bit questionable, but it works still, you know. Curtis Jones Fernandez in that sentiment position. Really do enjoy that. The fact that both of them can go forward, but both of them can play that defensive, you know, ability as well. But Samedo is what I'm looking at. Because you play Maldini in that centre-back position. And I'm going to guess you play Varane as well in that centre-back position. I'm pretty sure you said it. But either way, Ferdinand Mendy in that left-back position. And Samedo. Samedo is the weak link to this team. It really is. Because, like, Gold Samedo is just one of those ones that... He's just expired now. Like, he was so good at the start. Like, straight up, he was so, so good at the start. I used him for so many games. But because you've only got 200k, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so save up like 40 more K and you can go ahead and get yourself an 86 Cancelo that will be on 8 chemistry as long as you put the manager there. That right there will make that defensive line so much better because that Cancelo card in that right back position is insane is absolutely insane so yeah go ahead and get that informed Cancelo it's going to make your defensive line better your attack is already really good so I wouldn't advise you spending 200k on your attack 
But Samedo, he needed to go. He really did. But moving over, we are going to see Senpai. Senpai's got 800k to work with. Okay. He's looking to improve Mendy and Danilo Pereira. His additional info is untradables on Neymar. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I know who it is. George Best. Keep up the good content. Good, good, keep up the consistent work. Up, uh, oh my God, I can't speak. Keep up the consistent work, Orzio. There you go. It eventually came out. Starting formation. All right. Plays the 4-5-1. Oh no, what's happening here? Oh no, what's happening here? Oh my God, he got Team of the Year Ramos. Yuri as well. That's nice, you know. Wait. Do you play Furlan? Nah, you can't play Furlan Mendy centre back, do you? I mean, he would work there, but I'd prefer Yuri. Let me see. What's his in game? Oh, he plays the four-two-three-one. Yeah, you see, he plays Yuri. Uh, he plays Yuri in a centre back position. Wait, Tavernier. Oh, he subs off Danilo for Tavernier. Okay, that's not that's not you know that's not too bad. Tavernier can definitely play in that centre mid centre mid position. The only thing that is a bit weird that you're going to see is the fact that he's only on five chemistry like five chem you know when you sub a player on is not outrageously good he'll still play good there without a doubt he just wouldn't be outrageous there and that's the only problem that i'm going to see with his team because your attack is insane cr7 striker with neymar cam joan felix lam and george best ram it works it really does your defensive line is also very very good like dest insane Tini, timidia ramos insane lunan insane yuri insane and furlan mendy obviously it's furlan mendy so the one thing i'll probably upgrade from this team is try to avoid playing someone off chem and use your coins to go ahead and probably get this guy. Play Neymar off chem. Why not at the end of the day, you know? Why not? Neymar's still going to be a beast off chemistry. Like, it's not going to be one of those ones where he's going to be, you know, terrible off chem. No, he's still going to be good. He's still going to be a good player off chem. One thing I'm questioning is, why have you got Frank Lampard? You know, like, what you could do is you could get a Brazilian La Liga and you would get Neymar on eight chemistry. Like, there's literally no need to have an English player because you haven't got an English player in this team. You know, so there's literally no point of having Lampard in there unless you're like a Chelsea fan. Evil. Oh, that's going to hit some. Oh, that's going to hit some Chelsea fans. Oh, either way, uh, Bruno Fernandes, Renato Sanchez in form is going to obviously, you know, make that midfield so much better. Yeah, this is what I would go for. Switch the manager to a Brazilian La Liga and you will get Neymar on eight chemistry. It just makes way more sense. But yeah, really good team. Really, really good team. Moving over. We are going to see... Oh, not sure how to pronounce your name. He says, hey, Orzio, love the content. Greetings from Hungary. Okay. Xbox is his platform. He's got 700k to work with. His additional info is Neymar, Rashford, Marquinhos are tradable. He's looking to prove anything. Literally anything. Okay. Let's see what you start off with. Okay. Got some nice players in there. What do you actually play in game, though? Oh, he plays the 5 2 1 2 formation. You'll have to see it, boys. You'll have to see it. The 5 2 1 2 formation is a very, very good formation. And some of you may know the custom tactics, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say it too early. Either way, Bruno is in that left CDM, this left center back position. You've got Marquinhos in there as well, and you've got Gomez. Huh. I love your attack, by the way. Five star skillers galore. Mares, Neymar, Rashford, all five star skill moves. Love your midfield. Your midfield is insane. But the one thing I would say. It's probably switch them around. Yeah, switch them around. I understand Curtis Jones like long shots are good. It's just for me, Bruno Fernandez's long shots are just extremely overpowered. So yeah, put Bruno, Bruno Fernandez on that left centre mid position so he can cut in and go for those finesse shots far corner. You know, it's going to be way more consistent with Bruno than it is going to be with Curtis Jones. So yeah, switch them around. But yeah, very nice midfield, defensive ability, and obviously attacking as well. The one player I would honestly say to improve is Gomez. Like, you don't need to touch your left wing back because he's a left wing back that can defend and overlap at the same time. You've got Trent, team of the year especially. That is really, really good. Marquinhos is a bit questionable because I don't think he's an extremely fast player. So that could be a little bit of a problem. But I would definitely say Gomez. Gomez is the player you need to improve. And who would you improve it for? It probably would be, as it's in your price range, right? Yeah, 700k. Probably in form. Inform Gomez. Inform Gomez compared to the just the casual, you know, 83 overall is insane. So yeah, go ahead and get Inform Gomez. And the next player I would, you know, try to improve in his team would probably be Marquinhos. 
I'll probably try to get Marquinhos out because he's not extremely fast. Now, who would I put there? I'm not sure. Just see if, you know, see if uh, anyone comes out as an SBC player or anything like that. And if they come out as an SBC player, like a really, really good player, you can obviously put him there. But who at this moment do I feel like you should put there? I'm not sure. But definitely go ahead and get Inform Gomez and his team is going to look 10 times better. Because Inform Gomez compared to gold, that you can't even compare the two. You really, really can't. But yeah, that's what I would personally do, uh, do with that team. All right, up next. We've got 760k to work with. His additional info is all untradeable except for N'Golo Kante and Varane. He's got Yuri What If card untradeable and Lise Malor What If card untradeable. Okay. He's looking to prove anything that needs upgrading. Also, keep up the consistent work and the player reviews. Thank you, my guy. All right, let's look at the squad. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do you play in game? That's the real question. Is this. No, I've clicked. Have I clicked on the wrong player? Oh, no, I've clicked on the right player. Yeah, I have. All right. He's a 4 4 2. Okay. It's a very nice team. It's going to be real. It's a very nice team. You got the pace on the left. You got a 5 star, 5 star over here. You got a 5 star, 4 star. Kylian Mbappe, you know how it is. You got Mo Salah as well. And Golo Kante, Curtis Jones. Very nice midfield. You got a great defensive line. Great, great defensive line. How much chem does he on? He play on. It's seven, right? I think it's seven chemistry. It might even be eight. I'm not sure if you've applied loyalty, but yeah, it might even be eight chemistry Kleiber's on. Either way, it's a very good team. Very, very good team. Kleiber and Varane in that centre-back position. Insane. Now, you've got 760k to work with. So, how would I personally improve that team? Or improve this team, let's say? Who? Oh. You know what? I would do a lot of mixing up with this team, but... I would say for you personally, it's time to bring in the big boys. Okay, so I'm gonna actually gonna edit this team. So what you could do is Mbappe there because he's gonna get that N'Golo Kante link. Remove Wilfred Zaha from the team. Move this guy into a left mid position. Give him loyalty as well and give a manager. He will be on seven chemistry. And probably put Neymar. I'm not sure how much does Neymar go for. It's just under, I think. I think this is PS4 uh, PS4 prices. I'm not 100% though, but I believe he is just under. If you get Neymar there, you can play him on eight chemistry. The manager would be get him on loyalty. He'll be on six. Get him loyalty. He'll be on seven. Get him loyalty. He'll be on seven as well. And he'll be on 10. He'll be on 10. He'll be on 10. And everyone else is. And he'll be on 10. Yeah, that's all good. So Neymar would be on eight chemistry if you get the right manager. So Brazilian probably be. La Liga. That'll probably be it. So, Brazil. You got La Liga over here. Should come up. There you go. Uh, let's choose you. So, yeah. Brazilian La Liga. Get him on 7. Get him on 8. Mbappe on 10. And what you could do in the future as well. Because that's going to pretty much take up all your coins. As soon as you get Neymar, it's going to take up pretty much every single bit of your coins. Okay? You already got Mbappe. So, that's not going to cost you anything. Dembele, you already got as well. This team right here looks extremely improved, by the way. Just by adding Neymar into it. But if you want to keep Mo Salah. And you want to get him on chemistry. I would honestly say, remove Kleiber from the team. And get yourself... Probably get yourself Cancelo. Cancelo right back because that's going to put uh, Salah on full chemistry and is obviously, you know, going to make your fullback position extremely better as well. Because right now, you play Furlan Mendy there, right? Yeah, he's good there. And yeah, you play Clyburn in a centre back position. To be fair, you can continue doing that because I personally use Cancelo in that centre back position and he's insane. Don't worry about that because he's always going to be good. No matter centre back, fullback, he's going to be insane. But obviously, you can't afford Cancelo now if you go ahead and get Neymar. But that's just a thing for the future, you know? So get Neymar. Move Dembele in that left centre mid position. You're going to play him on seven chemistry. Your team's going to look so much better going forward. And you are eventually going to upgrade. I believe it was, who was it? Kleiber, yeah. You're going to eventually upgrade Kleiber for Cancelo. And obviously get Mo Salah on full chemistry as well. That's going to be a really, really nice team. But yeah, very nice team to actually work with. Because there wasn't too much, you know, too many leagues in there. Like there was what, three leagues? You got Liga and you got Prem and you got La Liga as well. So yeah, very, very nice team. Moving over, we are going to see Na Naeem, I believe is how you pronounce him. 500k. C uh, CR7, Dest, Yuri, Rashford are all only tradable players. Please check my bench as well. Okay, so 500k to work with. With this team right here. It's a good team. It's a very good team. What do you play in game? You play 4 triple 2 to start off, but what do you play in game? Oh. Wait, so you play... Oh, you literally just switched LP. Okay. 
You just have Del P there to get Varane on full chemistry. Oh, that's understandable. That is 100% understandable. All right, four triple two in game. You know what, boys? It's a bit of a weird one, you know? Because I'm looking at this team and I'm thinking to myself, how is he going to upgrade this team? Because I, I went straight to the keeper because I'm looking at Pacheco and I'm thinking to myself, Pacheco, man, you know, he's an all right keeper. But then I realized that he needs him for that strong link to get Yuri on full chemistry, you know? So it's going to be one of those ones where you most likely have to keep your you have to keep a check in there just to get Yuri on full camp. So that's out the window. I was going to probably tell him to go get O Black because that's going to be like a really, really nice one to get. But you can't get it. Who else would I improve? You only got like I would say only, but it's a decent amount of coins. 500k to work with and you got this team right here. You said you got a bench as well. But the problem is with your bench is the fact that these players right here are not going to help your team at all. Like... You got CR7, no one's replacing him. You got Juan Felix. You have probably a possible player that could, you know, kind of go over him, but not really. You got Fernandez, which is really good. No need to change him. Marcus Rashford's really good. Curtis Jones is an end game card for me personally. It's a good team. It's a very good team. I'm not sure how you can improve this team for only 500k. For me personally, you can't do it because your attack is insane and your defensive is insane. But the one thing I would tell you is try to get yourself a better striker than Del P. Like, I'm so confused. Why don't you play Del P, Cam, and then put Marcus up top? Like, you would have two five-star skillers. Obviously, you know, Ronaldo and Marcus. And Marcus's movement in that striker position is also very good. I'm not sure how good Del P is in there, but if he works for you, he works for you. But yeah, one thing I would say is just try to get yourself an insane, insane striker that is an icon. That's one thing I can say because for 500k, there's not many ways to improve this team. Like, yeah, you could possibly go ahead and get in from Varane, but I don't think he goes for 500k. I believe he goes for more. But yeah, try to get yourself a really insane striker that's an icon or just go ahead and get yourself an in from Varane because there's not many ways you're going to improve this team for only 500k. Moving over, we are going to see Kizzy. He says, yo, Uzio, love your videos. Current squad, okay. My in-game formation is the same. Oh, okay. Uh, Nabri... And I usually it's in a list, but this guy wrote it all the way to the side. My budget is only 60k. Just want to improve my team and can work up to 180k. All right, let's look at it. 60k to. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm looking at this team and I think to myself, yeah, there's possible ways to improve this team with 60k. And even what is it, 180k? You said, yeah, 180k. What do you play in game? That's what I want to know before I. Oh, you say you say we uh... are. Oh, it's the same team. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not sure what he actually plays in game, but I'm going to guess it's the five at the back as well. But yeah, you showed me two of the same uh, thing. So I'm just going to have to work it out. I'm going to guess it's five at the back because you've got three center backs anyway. All right. How would I improve this team for 60k, let's say? Well, one thing I'll do straight away is actually get, you know, the best version of Cucurella. Uh 86 overall. It's not the best version. I believe it's an 87 overall. That's the best version. The second thing I would do with this team... I mean, Coutinho is a bit of a man, you know. But the one person I'm looking at is Neto. Neto has to go. Neto has to go. Like, this guy right here, no way he's good. Surely he isn't. Unless he works for you, then, you know, keep him. But for me personally, I would probably go for, like, a Stegen, a Courtois, a Lunen. A Lunen is very good. You could go for Oblak as well if you really want to. But, yeah, that's a sef second thing I would do. So, first thing... Get better, you know, get the 87 Cucurella. Then switch up your goalkeeper to one of the big boys. And if you are continuing to go on this La Liga trend, you could just get Varane. I'm going to be honest, boys. I don't really want to be that kind of guy to tell people to go ahead and get Varane. But if we're going to be honest and we're looking at this team and we're thinking to ourselves, if he's sticking to La, like just straight up La Liga, go and get Varane. Get it for either Ramos or Lenglet. But for me, I'll probably take out Lenglet or Adair. One of those two, because Ramos, till you know, he puts in a very solid tackle, so you don't really have to remove him. But yeah, three things. Go bet, get a better version of Cucurella. Go get, you know, a better keeper. And go get uh, Varane. That's easily, easily the stuff you can do. But yeah, save up to that 180k and then go ahead and do that, because you're not going to do that with 60k. Anyway, moving over, we are going to see Abrezo, I believe is how you pronounce him. 650k. He's looking to improve, trying to find a more box-to-box -box player to replace either Overmars or Awa. Nice with additional info. Uh, who is the best? Who is the best La Liga keeper? 
for me, it would honestly be probably Oblak. Like, team of the group stage over, like, he was just so good for me personally. But the thing is with goalkeepers that a lot of people use a lot of different goalkeepers because you have to find the one that works for you. It's not like I will try team of group stage O black and, you know, he'll be insane for you. It might literally be the complete opposite. He might be terrible for you, but, you know, good for me. It's one of those ones. Either way, nice team. Very nice team. You got Overmars in there. You got Mbappe. You got Marquinhos. Love how you did Marquinhos to obviously get an, uh, an Mbappe on full chemistry. And the thing is, right... Now, you've uh, set yourself for the future. So, what you could go ahead and do is eventually go ahead and get Neymar because he's going to get the hyperlink either way. Now, let's look at the in-game team before we decide what we want to do with this team. Oh, he sent me the same team again. Is this back-to-back -back that people send me the same team? All right, either way. Let's see what we can do. So, he said he wants uh, our to be changed. I'm going to guess you probably play like a 4 2 3 one formation or the 4 4 2. You could even push out like a... No, you couldn't. Now, I was going to say you could even push out like a five at the back, but I don't think you can. It, unless you play Robin like right wing back. But either way, I reckon it's the 4 4 2 or the 4 2 3 1 or even a 4 triple 2. Those formations are very good with this team. All right, so yeah, Awa and Marquinhos in the said mid position. All right, Awa needs to go straight up. He needs to go. How much did he say we had to work with? 650k? All right. Awa out. Kunde as well. Kunde needed to go. Yeah, Kunde can't stay. Kunde needs to go as well. Kunde is just one of those players that if he gets upgraded, then okay, he's going to be good. But if he doesn't, then I can't see that card being in people's teams for a very long time. So who would I put there? I need a I need a link between Mbappe. I need a link between Marquinhos. And I need a link for... Oh, you know what? You could use... Is it? Yeah, that's how you spell it. Yeah, you could use this guy. Give him a Shadow Chem style, and he doesn't look too bad. I haven't reviewed him. I must admit, I haven't reviewed him. But he doesn't look like a bad player. And he's going to be on 10 chemistry because of that link right there. Oh, if... Wait, you have... I don't think he did it, did he? No, he hasn't got a bench. Do you know why? I'm thinking of this. That's insane right there. Look how good that is. And he's going to be... He's going to be on 7 chemistry anyway. Robertson's not going to get touched. Oh, my God, that hyperlink. That hyperlink would have saved this team. Yeah, that would have been insane. That would have been really, really good. Todd Depot with your boy Lee Malor, I believe is how you pronounce him. But yeah, that would have been insane. But they still want to turn it that I believe you can still get. It is going to be... Oh, what am I doing? There you go. There he is. Fofana. Fofana is going to be on 7 chemistry. It's going to be better than Kunde, no matter what. Like, if you bring in Fofana straight up, it's going to be better than Kunde. But yeah, that is what I would do. You said you're looking for more of a box-to-box -box midfielder in a way. And that is going to be your box-to-box -box midfielder. It's simple as that. He is a player that can go forward a decent amount. And he is a player that can put in a tackle. You're going to upgrade your centre-back position as well to Fofana over Kunde. I personally would not go for Kunde because of how small he is. And I just feel like Fofana is 100% a better centre-back because of the height and because of the physicality he brings to the game, you know? So Fofana would be really good there. If you had Todd Adipo, I'm not sure if you do because you didn't fill out your bench, put Todd Adipo in there because he's going to get that hype link and he is actually going to be on full chemistry. But yeah, really nice team. Really, really nice team. But we are going to move over to the last person. And he said, Hi, Ozio. I've been enjoying your squad reviews and would like to get your advice on my team. It's 400k at the moment, but I can save more. All right. Let's look at it. Oh, this is going to be a struggle. This is going to be a real, real struggle. To upgrade this team for only 400k, that's going to be a struggle. Let's say that straight away. Oh, you played a three at the back. You played three for two in game. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. I'm going to tell you straight up, you're not improving this team for 400k. I tell you, I can tell you that straight up. You're not improving this team for 400k. What you could do is, you could go ahead and get Curtis Jones. But the problem is, you can't really. Because Curtis Jones is English. You're not going to get that Memphis to Pie link. You're not going to get that Robin link. And it's going to be, you know, one of those ones where you're going to play Curtis off chemistry. And I believe you are also going to play Memphis to Pie off chemistry. So you've done really well to link up this team. Really well. Because you take out Wijnaldum, a lot of people are going to be off chemistry. You take off Kleiber, a lot of people are going to be off chemistry. You take out N'Golo Kante, there's going to be some players that's going to be off chem. It's a very, very weird team to do. But for you, I would honestly say, probably just get a better version of Varane. Or wait for an insanely good left back to come out that gets that link between Neymar and gets that link between Varane. That is another thing you can do. Yeah, but this team's insane. Wow. 
I didn't expect to see one of these teams in here. Look at this. 3 5 2. You've got a 5 star skill up front. You've got a 5 star skill in the cam position. 5 star skill in the right mid position as well. You've got N'Golo Kante and Wijnaldum in the centre mid positions. Virgil, Kleiber, Varane, Oblak. It's an insane team. An absolutely insane team. But yeah, as I said, you're not going to upgrade this team for 400k. I can tell you that right now. What I would do is try to get a better version of Varane. And wait for a better, like not better, like a really good left back to come out that gets that link between Neymar and gets that link between Varane. That is something you can do for your team. But yeah, really, really insane team. Probably the best team that you've actually seen today. But I hope you guys did enjoy the squad review episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.